In this video, we'll be covering steps used to add automated page numbers to your publications in Scribus. Your pages for consistency, along with changing the document section properties to configure and style our page numbers. So let's get started. Welcome to class. Let's start by creating a publication with a few pages to work with. Now that we have our publication and our pages created, let's create a text frame that will contain our page number. Nothing special here, alone our text frame is just an empty frame. So we'll need to add a page number character inside the frame so that Scribus knows to replace the character with the current page number. We can do this by double clicking on the text frame and then from the standard menu select insert and then character and then page number. Alternatively, you could use the keyboard shortcut by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and the letter P at the same time. After doing this, you should see a number in the text frame. This should be the number Scribus is configured to display as the current page number for the page the frame is on. Although the page number character may appear as though it's just a number, it is updating dynamically within Scribus. You can verify this by moving the frame from one page to another and see the value updating based on the page the text frame resides on. Keep in mind that the page number character is just a character within a text frame. So if you feel the need, you could add text to either side of the page number character as you see fit. So we've done it, right? We've added a text frame to our page, we've inserted a page number character, and if we want, we can now duplicate or copy and paste this frame on all the remaining pages of our document. Sure we could, but there are a number of issues that could be created by numbering our pages this way. One issue might be how many times will you have to copy and paste this text frame, and what happens when you have to move the frame or change its style? Will you have to move it or change the style for each frame on every page in your document? Not fun. Another issue may be when the page number starts. It's not common for the first physical page of a book to be marked as page number one. Sometimes the pages are blank. Sometimes the pages have a picture of the cover or contain other content such as a preface, forward, or other front matter that don't justify the use of a page number. How do we handle these types of issues? These issues can be addressed with master pages and document sections. Let's take a look at each one at a time. Let's start with master pages because we don't want to put ourselves in a situation where we're copying and pasting the page number text frames on each page manually. So from the standard menu, we'll select Edit and then Master Pages. From the Master Pages control panel, we'll select the Add New Master Page button and give our new page a meaningful name. As a note, depending on if your document layout has been set to single or facing pages, you may need to create a master page for both the left and right pages. Once we create the master page, we'll add a text frame with our page number character just as we did before. After we add the text frame and insert the page number character, we'll press End Edit and commit our changes. Now with our mouse, we can right click on the document and select Apply Master Page from the Context window. From the Apply Master Page window, we can set the Master Page property to our new Master Page. Select All Pages and we'll check the box Within Range and set the first value to 2, which indicates all but the very first physical page and set the value 2 to the next to last physical page in the document because we don't want our page numbers appearing on the first or last page. We should now see our page numbers being populated across all pages 
where our master page has been applied. As you can see, we no longer need to copy and paste the text frame with our page number on each page in our document. And if we need to adjust its style or location, we can do so from a single location by editing the master page. Now let's take a look at how to use sections to manage how our page numbers are displayed. We can modify sections from the standard menu by selecting File and then Document Setup. From the Document Setup window in the left pane, we'll select Sections. Now in the right pane, we have our document sections, which are responsible for splitting our physical document pages into logical sections and allows us to apply page number styles. By default, we should have one row. We can add rows by selecting the Add button in the bottom right corner. You would add sections if you're looking to configure your document to have a different set of page number rules for different sections of your document, such as a book's front matter, content, and appendix. The most common fields to change include the From, To, Style, and Start columns. The From column indicates the first physical page in the document the section configuration should apply to. As you should expect, the To column indicates the last physical page the section configuration should apply to. As you can see, the Style column contains a drop-down list that allows you to select whether the section should display numbers, alpha characters, Roman numerals, or another style of page, section, or numbering. Finally, the Start column indicates the number the section should start with. So, if you want the page number to start with page 100 instead of page 1, you can set that value here. We'll go ahead and set the From column to the number 2, indicating that the second physical page in our document is where our section will begin and then we'll set the To column to the next to last page in our document, indicating that the last page in our document will not be included in this section. We'll leave the Style column as Numbers and set the Start column to the value of 1. Once we're all done, we'll select OK and take a look at our results. If we're looking at our document and need to make adjustments, we can repeat the steps and make adjustments as needed. In this video, we discussed the various steps involved with setting automatically updating page numbers in Scribus. We discussed using page numbers within master pages, along with configuring and styling our page numbers with sections. If this video helped you, or you would like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.